Welcome back, lads and lassies, to back, lads and lassies, to Mech Commander 2. We're going to do Mission 3, which is Ambush and Acquire a Mobile HQ. So, mission objectives. Destroy the fuel tanks, destroy enemies at checkpoint, and capture the Mobile HQ. So... Let's see what's going to happen here, if there's any information in here that might help. I've been studying the map, Steiner Recon provided, and it looks as though the best place to hit the convoy will be at the checkpoints south of the reply station. Fine, from the top of the hills near the checkpoint will give us tactical advantage against the convoy's guards. The bandits use a resupply station to field and maintain mechs. That means there's a good chance we'll find munitions or even a weapons facility. Now that weapons facility sounds pretty good to me. I'm not sure if it means that we are just going to engage some fleas. There might be something a little bit heavier. Now, let's modify these mechs. Let's just get rid of all this stuff. This is the mech lab where you can change the weapons and armor on a mech and remove its jump jets. Cash can tell you more. So. Yeah, I don't need them to tell me more. Oh, that's the wrong... Let's just return to game. Buy and sell mechs is what I wanted to do. We've got new battle mechs. Oh, a shootist. That's that's a heavy mech. I don't really think that we need that just now. I'm going to get rid of the urban mechs. No, no, I didn't mean that. But it's okay. We're going to get Hunchback instead. It's got jump jets. Decent armour on it. We've got little fleas there. We might get rid of one of our fleas. And... Oh, we didn't actually <laughs> physically sell it. Now we're just going to get rid of these. And we're just going to accept that. Now we have one fire ant, that's fine. That gives us a little bit extra resource points. I want to get our other bushwhacker in there. We've got 20. Yeah. I like the, the, the armor's better. And the speed's better. Now that just means that the only one who has any sort of jump jet capabilities would be a Razorback. Which is, in my mind, totally fine. Let's just go to next. And we've got meat, laser specialists, sensor specialists. I, do you know what? I'm actually just going to stick... I'll stick Chopper in here. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is so I can make him a medium specialist. And... I think that's going to be it. We're just going to launch that. In fact, that's a laser specialist. That's a light mix specialist. That, she's totally fine. We can we can deal with that. Let's just launch this and see what's going to happen now. Now, we should have a little bit more firepower than we did with the urban mech. Just solely because the urban mech had no armor to it. So, let's find out what's happening. I've taken control of your console for tactical review, sir. The convoy will be taking this road to the base. We should take out this military checkpoint and ambush the convoy when they come through here. Unfortunately, the enemy has set themselves up pretty well. The turret controls are very well protected. It'll be tough getting to them without being shot up in the process. Instead, we can fire at those fuel tanks. Destroying a fuel tank will cause a large explosion, damaging everything within the blast radius. We can also try shooting those turret generators. So, essentially with this, we have a choice. We can either risk the damage and get the actual auto cannons. Yeah, they are auto cannons. I'm not going to risk that. I think the auto cannons will just absolutely tear up our mechs, if I'm being brutally honest about it. So, we're just going to go up here and then destroy the fuel tanks. Now 
Now, I want them to go up there, and I'm just going to get my bushwhackers to to hit these large fuel tanks. Yeah, if you guys can take that out, we'll just use our two mechs to engage that. So that's the auto cannons out of the fight. Let's just take out this urban mech. And as you can see, my bushwhack has already been quite heavily damaged. Well, not heavily damaged, lightly damaged by the auto cannons over here. But that's okay. What have we got? Fire ants. Let's get out of there just in case it goes critical. It's not. And it was another mech. We don't really need to deal with that. We've got a fire ant here. So. We're going to let our bushwhackers lead the line on this. Yeah, that's... Because that was a fire ant, I'm sure. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Got nothing on us. Now, obviously, that's where the... It said that the convoy's going to come down. But there is, as we can see up here, a little base with a weapons facility. So, I think we're going to go up here. These are SRMs. Fine work, sir. Those hills overlooking the road are excellent ambush points. Firing from high ground gives us a better chance of hitting an enemy's upper armor and cockpit. Once you get your mix up on those hills, order them to hold position. When holding position, pilots will not move unless given a direct order, firing from where they stand. That convoy should be here any minute now. Be so struck. Our objective is to capture the HQ vehicle while destroying its guards. Enemy Careful. resources. If captured. the HQ vehicle is destroyed, we fail the mission. Also, enemy convoys often contain resource trucks. Don't blow them up. Capturing them gives us resource points, just like capturing a resource building, just not as much. Now we're just going to quickly check all these buildings before we head down. There we go, resource building. There is something quick over here. Nothing over here. That's fine. We're not going to engage that just now. Because I do want the weapons facility. How many have we got here? What, two fire ants? Uh, vendetti. Or a Vendetti. Mm. Two Vendettis and two fire ants. That's not really too much of a hassle for us, if I'm being honest. I wonder what this is. We're just going to go up here. I do want to... Yeah, that's nothing. Let's just head back until we grow up. Group up. And we can engage in a line. Yeah, just another urban mech. Again, not too much hassle. just going to walk through him. Now, the best way for us to do this is to get a razor back. No, I don't want you to engage. I want to keep that. I'm just going to head down. Ah, oh, mother. Let's get out of here. It's okay. It's okay. We're just going to head back. Hopefully they'll come out to engage us, and we can take them all out. It's not really too much of a hassle. Now, while they're engaging, the, the, the base is lying empty, so I'm just going to head up here while they're all engaging, and I'm just going to jump jet in. 
stick out the turret control. Not a bad problem. Get the gate control. Yeah, not too much of a hassle. Let's get this weapons facility. Now, we need to find this convoy. Now, we've done the two other sort of objectives. It shouldn't be too difficult to find. We've got quite large sense of ranges. I hope we haven't missed it. They were coming up from here. Yeah, they're sitting at the base. That's not too much of a hassle for us. That's fine for us. Now these, these tanks here are going to be the bigger hassle because they are packing auto cannons. Where is this other one? It's down here. Let's just take that out because that could really blow through our armour pretty quickly. It shouldn't be too much of a hassle now. The main threats are away. Now we didn't quite go to how the mission wanted us to do this. We just sort of went for a frontal assault. It's all the same. Let's claim this resource. Get the other resources. There's another resource. Nothing really else, really. Let's just get the mobile HQ. That really should be the mission. Defeat the, the counter attack. So this data contains the command structure of the whole bandit army. Uh-oh. I know the scout. The leader of the bandits is a guy named Bond. He's an officer for House Liat. I don't know what's going on, but I think this job just got more complicated. All right, Skipper. You got yourself a stash of pulse laser weapons. It's a simple trade-off. They do more damage than regular lasers, but they generate more heat. Now, we do have a counter-attack on the way, so I'm just going to get this fire ant. Steiner just informed me that there's a large bandit force heading our way. We need some support. Capture any resource buildings in the area. We can use the RPs to call in fixed artillery. Now, I'm sure there was another fire ant around. There we go. wonder if that's even got anything on it. Yeah, that's fully. Now, we have a small armada. I'm just going to call on a repair truck. Get these guys up. Shouldn't be too much of a hassle for us. Now, obviously, the mission wants us to use airstrikes. I don't really see the point in that. I'd rather just have some more mechs to do the counter attack. Let's just get ourselves fixed up. I don't know where it's coming from, but it should be okay. Gonna get everybody repaired. Taking a little while. Hmm, that's because it wasn't working, it was glitching. <laughs> that was pretty bad. So we get three fire ants. Should be okay. Right, just need you to. Okay, you're not working, obviously. I can get you to move over here. We'll just do everybody. I 
and then I might just send my repair truck up into the base. Now, we are going to group these all together. I'm not going to go on a hunt. I'm <laughs> going to try and find these guys. Nothing really over here. I don't know where the counterattack's coming from. I can't remember. But it would be quite nice to engage them. Bit of a strange one. No idea where they're coming from. It's not from the south anyway. We'll just run back up into... Oh, that's... Right. You are heading right into the counter-attack. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. I'm just going to run my mechs up. Repair truck should be fine. It's not as if, even if he does perish or get destroyed, you know, we'd still get another one. I still would rather not lose it. We will be able to engage them relatively quick. Not too much of a hassle. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to go down really quickly. There we go. That's one down. Run through them. <laughs> they will just destroy them. Not too much of a hassle, is it? I think they were expecting us to be up into this corner. Ah, it's just fire ants. It should be okay. Let's just head into the base. Let's just draw them in. Fire ant, fire ant, fire ant. Star Slayer! Okay. That might be quite handy to have. We're just throwing them into the turret fire. Little bit of artillery support. Not really too much of a hassle. I wonder if he's going to go critical. I would really quite like the Star Slayer. That would be nice. We are doing okay. Oh no, I wanted the Star Slayer. <laughs> well, we may get it from Salvage, who knows. Hopefully we do. It'd be quite nice and I'll 50 ton mech to our name. Mission successful. Da, 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 da. Let's have a look. Oh, baby. Look at that. Three lasers, three streak SRMs. Streak means it, it, better accuracy. Look at that armor. Look at that armor. Whew. And it's good jump jets as well. Fantastic. And two large lasers added on it as well. That's great. I'm just going to keep that. I might get rid of my few fire ants. We'll see when we get to the next mission. And let's see if we have... If our... Judgment call on the green pilots pulls itself off. Promoted to regular. Great. Can I make him a medium specialist? No, I can't. What I'm going to do, though... I'm going to make him an, a... Ah, what to do, what to do? Oh, that's just a question. I don't really need another light mech specialist at the moment. I might uh, make him an SRM specialist. Just solely because we've got that Star Slayer and that had packing three our SRMs. That'd be nice. Uh, got Hacksaw, Medal Awarded, Vmex. Yeah, we've done pretty well on that mission. Nobody died, nobody got seriously damaged. We managed to pick up the Star Slayer. And I suppose we got the few Fire Ants that will be added to our roster, but not too bothered about that. We only really need one or two. And that is it for this mission. Lads and lassies, I will see you on the next one.